If you have not seen the first episode of this part one, I uploaded it yesterday. Make sure to go back and watch that first and then come back here. I'm right, gonna give you a couple seconds to click off the video if you haven't watched part one because I'm about to remove the people who already died. In three, two, one, here we go. What is good, y'all? As I promised, the one and only Traders Part 2 is now here. It is Saturday, just like I promised. Getting right back to the action. By the way, after this video, please make sure to watch the new episode of Kush Tunes, Courage the Cowardly Dog. I just watched it. Fire episode. Link down below to my gaming channel where you can watch the latest episode of Kush Tunes. Alright, now getting back into this game, Raj just got marked because everyone kind of knew he was a faithful. And so now they are starting the discussion time. So I think Emma will have a plan almost immediately from the beginning, you know, of this day where she takes some of the more like people that listen easier, you know, as long as it's not me or someone I care about. And I feel like she's going to bring up the fact that Chase was kind of the sole reason that everyone flipped a vote. And so Emma tells all them that she believes it's Chase and he's looking out for Julia or Caleb. Nichelle, obviously, she's like, all right, that makes sense. I do believe that. Let's try to get Caleb first before Julia. I do think she has a bias. And Z's like, whoa, that, that does make sense. And I thought it was one of them yesterday anyway. And Damien, he, he kind of wants Scary Girl. I won't lie. He, he wants her out is what I mean. And Scary Girl's like, huh, well, anyone but me. I don't need to be in this game to be a murderer. And Emma's like, yup, all right, goodbye. Chase always in the gym trying to get that info. And I also feel like he wants to be seen in the gym a lot just so he can flex or whatever. Like, just waiting for Emma to pass by. Oh, hi, Emma. Funny to see you here. I was just, you know, working out. You know, some bull like that. By the way, someone commented on the last video that they started saying the word bull because of me. That's funny. I appreciate it. And I do think Priya's, like, sense of detectiveness and always wanting to be in the right i do think she has like a little bit of red flags going for caleb that he might be the traitor but at the same time i don't know if she buys that full-heartedly yet and she's definitely not gonna say anything about it and i believe this is when axel would be like all right i would think bowie would kill wayne especially to get him away from raj but I don't think Bowie would kill both Wayne and Raj. That just don't make sense to me. So I don't think it's Bowie. He might even be the next one marked, not gonna lie. So who would exactly get them? She tries to think, but she does agree with his last statement or whatever, that it might be Julia, Caleb that's, you know, with them right now. And she just don't know how to feel about that. And I think this might be when Priya points out that last season or a prior season, AJ and Joe are, who, who's AJ? There's never been an AJ. I'm thinking about Clementine and AJ, my bad. We got Brick and Joe and then Eva and Joe and now Eva and Joe won is they took out people suddenly they didn't care about but also wouldn't directly correlate to them. I think Priya would bring this up and she's like, you know, because of that and like the prior seasons and statistics, she's also kind of bringing us, you know, this up to like kind of protect Caleb. It might honestly be MK, Nichelle, or Julia. And I think she also believes it could be Emma and Chase because it also fits that description to the T. But she's not going to say that right here. All right, now in the hot tub, we see Nichelle, Julia, Emma, and Millie all just chilling, cruising. S soda was probably brought to them by Z earlier. And I believe once again, Emma would bring up Chase to everyone. And Millie, she doesn't want to seem like she goes with every plan automatically because she knows that's suspicious. She's like, are you sure? I believe Chase is the type of person to just make a faulty miscalculation without any purpose. And Emma's like, no, no, no. I I'm Emma and I I'm, no, Chase bet. <laughs> you know, she doesn't like it. He, she, she hates him for some reason. Well, no, let's be for real. Emma has a reason. Emma has a reason. Like, let's be honest here. Emma has all the reasons. And Julia and Nichelle probably kind of look at each other, but I think, you know, 
it might be chase it could be we really don't care about him so we're just gonna be like oh all right could be they're not gonna you know rebuttal it like millie is but they understand bowie and mk i don't know what they're doing they're just plotting in the kitchen bruh i think there might be some common ground i don't think they like each other necessarily but MK's like, I, I know I'm a faithful. You might not believe me, but whenever I'm dead, just know I think Priya did it. And this catches him off guard. But she mentions that her name, along with Julia, hella got tossed by Priya. And she heard this from sources, aka Z walked by, you know, giving them their sodas. He walked by again. He heard the conversation. Then he told MK. He's like, oh all right i'll keep that in mind and with that being said it is time for the banishment i always feel like monokuma when i say that but it is true someone about to be 10 toes up not talking mama pratt don't forget to leave a like and subscribe it'd be a huge help to the channel you guys are amazing yes you and i hope you have a good week all right so i won't lie i think since she went around telling everyone anyway she's just gonna be bold and she's like i told a lot of people and a lot of people agreed with me chase you are very suspicious right now and chase he he's a little flabbergasted that she's just outright saying this but i think he's gonna try to keep his composure he's like well yeah well yeah you know what i think it's actually you because you also agreed with me and you, you you know we were on the same page and you didn't stop me at all and now you're throwing me under the bus to make you look less suspicious and then she's like well ripper is out because of you because you said he killed wayne you agreed with me though you said that as well dialogue 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 give me a soda give me a sandwich hold on let me stop why does millie look like she would fuck up sweet potato casserole i feel like julia obviously knows she's a little bit on the chopping block so i feel like well how about this we just kind of vote chase now if it's not him we vote emma since she's so sure julia probably stares at emma and she's like emma are you sure it's chase and emma she's thinking in her head this could go horribly wrong or chase could be the traitor i look like the hero and i'm good but at the same time that would make me look suspicious because if i was right about him being the traitor and everyone knew i was a faithful then i might get killed if the traitors know everyone knows i'm a faithful she's like well i i'm not gonna put my life on the line no i would not do that I just have to go off a little bit of evidence just like everyone else does. And Julia's like, oh, all right, all right, fair enough. And Axel, I think she has no problem right now. She's probably angry as hell. She's like, I do think it's Chase. There is no reason, not really any factual reason. He went after Ripper. Ripper just said what other people were thinking. What, you gonna vote me out next, Chase? You gonna vote me out next? And I think with that, unfortunately, almost every vote goes to chase he has been banished he he is probably extremely disappointed that he's so early out again and then when he looks at emma he points at her says it's you and then he announces that he is a faithful and there he goes on the memory wall emma is or like her heart drops she can't believe it she she knows she's a little bit cooked and julia's like wow wow who would have guessed we we lost again wow and there it is everyone now going to their individual dorms except for the three devious murdering fiends so millie probably has a list of people she knows will probably be on her side and will probably be okay leading forward she just has to convince the others the people she wants safe are priya emma nichelle julia caleb and damien now i think julia and caleb would be an easy sell scary girl obviously wants damien to torture and i feel like axel and priya has worked out so much so far that they might have actually gotten a bond over this so it really comes down between these five and considering they're all girls i think they come to the sad conclusion that if they kill a male everyone will probably realize it's a girl 
if not all girls so they they gotta make this not too suspicious letting bowie and z slide on by and so everyone is waiting in immense suspense julia kind of you know freaking out because both of her strongest allies are up on the block right now or at least you know not showing up to breakfast potentially murked as we speak however to a couple people's surprise emma walks on through the door leaving nichelle and mk to their potential deaths it is suspense but at last the last person joining them for breakfast is mk by the order of the traitors i'm so sorry nichelle you have been murdered i feel like they believe mk is a lot more suspicious especially due to her silence and a couple people are all already like whispering among each other that she's a little too silent and she's side by side working with julia all the time which people already suspect anyway so the farther they both make it together the more like a head scratcher it is immediately i feel like julia and mk seclude themselves and she she's probably like mk no cap i, I think you're the traitor and mk is like well i i did ask think you're the traitor because i'm a faithful and julia says me too and i feel like mk and julia are both pretty good lie detectors and they're sensing truth so they're mad confused right now how they're both still alive i think someone is trying to frame us and what we should do is get two people each try and take this to the end i think that's exactly what they do julia gets bowie and axel where i feel like mk would choose scary girl and z i feel like scary girl watches mk and z like play their game of i'm gonna probably assume air hockey which z might be pretty good at and mk's like i won't lie you guys i think i might be set up by the traitors and scary girl she's like mm, is that so and mk's like yeah that is so and z i won't lie i don't mean to like over gullible him but you guys got to admit he is like dummy gullible and he's like oh really that that would make sense because aren't you like a villain and if you're not a traitor then it must be someone else like no 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 shit z it must be like if it's not her which you don't know it must be someone else that's how the game works and mk probably says i think someone is trying to set me up trying to set julia up and it's not going to work where i think julia bowie and axel have their little like gossip tea talk and julia's like i won't even lie i think me and mk are being set up hard and axel you know just like scary girl she's like really and you brought us in here why she's like because i need two people i can trust that i know will have my back and are faithfuls bowie i don't think it's you at all because of raj and wayne going my condolences by the way and axel i really don't think it was you or ripper that got chosen as a traitor and i know it's not me me and mk are being set up and we got to figure out who and bowie's like so so who do you think it is and i think she 100 percent says priya and bowie you know he's probably not the biggest fan of priya to begin with he's like oh really why is this because that's interesting mk actually told me the same thing and julia this surprises her because they didn't talk about this and julia's like wait really because me and her didn't talk about this at all this this is actually just me saying this i didn't know she also thought it was priya bowie's like yeah she said if she gets out it's priya and julia's like oh interesting now priya lost along with caleb they both lost one two three four and a half people that all were at the gym with them one by one they're all getting clapped i think while they're in there working out priya's like you know caleb everyone who used to be in here with us they're murked they got curb stomped what happened caleb's like yeah th this isn't good but i promise you priya i'm a faithful i promise you i would never kill you and i would never kill emma and instantly this throw priya's off she's like wait wait you would never kill emma what 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 she gotta do with things she's he's like well i'm just saying i would never kill anyone and now she's like uh, all right caleb she's probably in the back of her mind though thinking like if emma dies 
This is hella suspicious. And I won't lie, I think Z was on his way to the kitchen to get soda, and he just overhears just a minimal amount of conversation. All he hears is kill Emma. And instantly, he grabs the six delicious beverages, gives them, you know, to the people in his room, to each. He's like, yo, uh, I think someone might kill Emma. MK and MK's like, wait, 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 who? He's like, I heard Priya and Caleb talking about killing Emma. And MK's like, what if Priya and Caleb both got chosen? And Scary Girl's like, ooh, that could definitely be it. Millie just having some talking time with some NPCs. It is time for the round table where they must now banish someone. In which I feel like Emma definitely thinks it's her. And while in the hot tub with Damien and Millie, she probably discussed her fear. And, you know, Damien's like, well, Emma, I, I don't think it's you. I just think you and Chase hated each other irrationally and someone was going to get out eventually. And Millie's like, yeah, Emma, I, I also don't think it's you. I wonder why, Millie. So I feel like when MK and Julia kind of almost at the same time immediately be like, Priya, no offense, but we're voting you today. I think Emma instant relief that the target's not her and she's like you know what yeah I, I was also thinking priya just like going on the bandwagon priya's like whoa wait wait a second caleb's like wait wait hold on it is not priya and z was like oh my god this makes sense they said priya and caleb were working together and oh my god kayla stood up for her caleb stood up for her that meant that meant they're working together it's all true and Axel, she's just trying to find any excuse for it to not be her, so she's not gonna pipe in. And Millie's like, I, I don't think it's Priya. I mean, she she wouldn't really target the people who's died recently. And Scary Girl, I think she also just doesn't like Priya at all for a biased standpoint. She's like, Priya is a traitor. I can sense it. Give me her soul, you know, something like that. I have no idea. And unfortunately, at the end, I feel like there's quite a few votes that aren't at Priya, but not enough to count. They have made their mind up. I'm so sorry, Priya. She's like, I'm so sorry, guys. You guys are getting played by the traitors because I am a faithful. And everyone looks at her like, oh my god, th this sucks. This is terrible. Caleb was like, yeah, see, I told you guys. And with that, they all go to the bedroom, individual cabins, hoping that the murdered is not them. And so far, the traitors have gotten away with this kind of clean so far. All right, so I think this will be quite a quick murder discussion. I feel like they bring up Z saying that if Emma dies, it was definitely Caleb who killed her due to the conversation that Z heard. And everybody trusts Z, which is a reason to kill him, but they believe right now to avoid suspicion, the best act of breakfast order is unfortunately Julia and Emma at the end and the person who got murdered is sadly Emma. And when Emma is dead, everyone at the breakfast table is shocked, except for Caleb who stands up and says, Priya was right. Yesterday, me and her was discussing how we knew everyone was talking about voting Priya out. Everyone was literally talking about it. We're in this game. We have ears, you know. And we waited until someone was passing by, which was Z, and we purposely said a bit louder than all the other words, kill Emma. Because Priya wanted to set this trap. So Z, right now... Unless you want to be confirmed traitor, who did you tell that I said kill Emma? And this is also the reason why I got brought up heavily, by the way. And Z, he's a little scared. He's like, I I, I didn't mean to, to do all I promise I'm a faithful. I couldn't be a traitor. It'd be too much for my soul. All right, so let's see. I, I told MK and I told Scary Girl. And immediately, Julia, you know, she was always sussing MK. There's never a moment when Julia is not thinking MK is a traitor. But as of right now, she just really doesn't think so. And she just doesn't believe it's Z. So Julia's like, oh my god. So 
So Scary Girl is the traitor. Millie and Axel a little bit on high alert, but they can't show it. And they can't really speak because neither of them are willing to risk their game for a scary girl. And Damien's like, yes, 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 I told you guys all along. It was her, please. Fairy odd parents, please. You gotta believe me. My shiny teeth in. Like, I swear to God. And you know what? Why why not just have like our early round table? Because they already discussed in the shoots anyway. Either that or time lapse. Millie made everyone sandwiches. Everyone had to dress up as bees for like a flower challenge for like $5,000 gift card for Sam Samsung like products or some bull like that. And I won't lie, Caleb probably won that low key. So immediately I feel like scary girls like it is not me. As you guys have said, it could potentially be MK or Z. MK has more of a reason to get out the other people than me. You know, on some Detroit Become Human shit. And MK is like, if it's not Scary Girl, you guys can vote me. And I promise you, it's not me. So after you guys vote me, vote Z. And I think everyone can get behind that plan except Axel and Millie. And since it's a public vote, I really don't think they're willing to risk it. So it's probably like unanimous against Lauren, except Lauren who votes MK. And she sighs, you know, like it's a sad moment that she has been caught. She looks at everyone and she's like, unfortunately, I couldn't murder any of you for real. Damien, I'll find you. I will. Don't worry. Count your days and your minutes. Congratulations, everyone. I was a traitor. And there she goes. Eliminated as MK, Julia, Z. They're all like, yes, they're extremely hype. Millie doing a fake ass woohoo. You know, on some sim. Flarbin, Flarbin bull. Bowie very happy. He's hype. Damien's like, yes, not only is Scary Girl gone. But she actually was a traitor. Let's go, fairy out there. So I think after a delicious victory dinner of steak and blooming onion, everyone can sleep happily knowing they got a traitor out of here. Now, this is when Millie and Axel have to discuss. Do, do they want to murder again? Or would they like to recruit someone? They look at their options, and there are a lot of good options for recruitment. Damien could be a good one. A lot of people believe he's probably not a traitor now, since he was always pushing Scary Girl. Also a good reason to kill him. Z would be a terrible choice. Bowie probably would be a terrible choice because he would deny it. He wouldn't want to work with the people that clapped Raj. MK and Julia are both connected with each other, so if they have one, they probably have both. But at the same time, Millie says that if one were to become a traitor, the other one would probably notice it as they both have a pretty good read. So it technically just comes down to Caleb or MK because they're both really kind of confirmed as faithfuls along with Bowie and if someone was recruited everyone confirmed faithful would no longer matter up to this point so the people showing up to the kitchen is potentially everyone it is down between Caleb and MK Caleb and MK and the last person showing up is MK which unfortunately means the traitors have decided to try and recruit someone because everyone shows up to breakfast everyone's looking at each other they're like all right all right who wants to confess that they tried to get recruited but it didn't work and everyone is looking at each other extreme side eye and that's when the realization hits no one raises their hand the recruitment was successful and now they along with you guys momentarily do not know who the third traitor is i know this is going to seem so evil but this is going to be a weekend series because it is almost 12 a.m this recording been going on for a hot minute 
And you know what? My, why, why not make it like a long, suspenseful series? Because in total, this will almost be like a movie worth, if not a movie worth. Recharged, ready to give it way more story, and it's a suspenseful cliffhanger. Because who do you guys comment down below? who you think got chosen as the traitor. You guys are so amazing. Like, I'm being for real. Thank you guys so much. Please make sure to watch Kush Tunes. Courage the Cowardly Dog, fire editing. It's a fire time. Make sure to follow my Twitch, link down below. And I dare every single one of you to not only have a good day, but an amazing weekend. Thank you so much.